everybody hi 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 it's gonna be a good night tonight there's a lot of really good stuff I'm really excited about this uh, this group of things <laughs> I wish you had more time for the preview you know but I waited because Sunday's video is doing so well that I didn't want to jinx it by putting out another video you know it's doing like best ever so um, so I just waited, <laughs> you know, but I think you guys saw it. It has enough views. I think the people that, you know, that bid um, and hang out in the group, I think everybody saw it. Hi, Joan. Um, hi, Amy. So Carly's not here. Um, she was just trying to connect from home and it was very, very stressful for me. So I need a minute to kind of decompress. Um, but, uh, so no buttons tonight. No, no, uh, we won't be putting the PayPal buttons in the chat. I will be sending them to you um, after the show or tomorrow. So, oh, hey, Kathy. I saw, yeah, I saw that you were the first commenter. That's pretty cool. Um, so hi, Suzanne. Um, so it's going to be a good night couple things uh well just really one main thing to clean house interestingly enough i heard from a few people kind of all at the same time that they were feeling like there was too much stuff going on in the chat and they wanted it they wanted me to say again like you know when you say something make sure it adds value you know to the conversation um you know, avoid, avoid the temptation to kind of just get attention. Like, you know what I mean? Cause there was a, there was, there was, a uh, quite a few people that were really engaged the other day, which I really enjoyed when I went back and read it, but I can see, and I was encouraging it because I couldn't tell and I wanted to go back and read it, but I heard from a few people that it was actually sort of disheartening and it discouraged them from you know saying anything themselves so so just keep that in mind you know if you feel like you're participating a lot more than the other people you probably are <laughs> like you know <laughs> so you know um so maria's maria has some things coming up tonight i have some of the things i thrifted that i've been waiting on um Things from the consigner, all those pins, which I'm sure we'll be getting to on Friday, which is just as well because Carly's not here. Um, and if there's anybody new that's here, um, that is here to 
to uh, to bid, right? Or here, if there's anybody new and you want to participate, put your hand in the chat now. Put a hand in and let us know where you're from. Um, it's a very nice group. We keep things kind. Um, you know, it's uh, it's the safest place for me. I look like a Russian princess. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Um, oh, also, that's another thing. Um, weird thing happened today. It's funny. It doesn't happen for a long time, and then it'll happen. The worst time to contact me is right before a show, everybody, just so you know. Um, it's really, I'm running around doing a million things, and nothing ever goes to plan. Like, I was trying to get Carly connected, and, you know, there's always a lot of last-minute stuff that wasn't accounted for. So if you try and contact me before a show and I don't answer you, I don't want you to feel bad, you know, because it's it's difficult. Um, hey, Morpha Morpha, hi, welcome. Thank you for saying hello. Thank you so much. That's super fun. It's a fun group. Um, if you're new, uh, normally, and you win something, right? Hi, Gina. Hello. Um, uh, I send, I pay for the shipping if, if, uh, if what you win combined is over $45, right? And you're in this country. If you're not in this country, then I ask you for the difference. And if you have a package, like if you're, if the things that you got, you know, add up, then I insure those packages and I will ask you for shipping, um, insurance on the package as well, right? Because that can really add it up, really, really add up fast. Same thing with the giveaways. I kind of went overboard on the giveaways lately, so we're not doing giveaways tonight. I will give away magnets, um, you know, to those of you who want them. I don't know. If you get 100 likes fast, maybe I'll be, maybe I, I can be persuaded to do something, you know, jewelry-wise or whatever, but I'm trying to dial it back a little bit because it was really starting, I didn't realize it was really starting to add up. So, hello, Mindy. Hi, Pre. So, that being said, I think we should just get going because I'm going to be a little slower without Carly. Um, we do $5 increments. And, hi, Stella. And, oh, all the rings came back. All of them went out. Um, the ring sizing. Anything else to, to, uh, to think about? No, I think, I think that's all I can think of right now. So, if it, if it comes to me, I'll, I'll bring it up. Hey ho, hey ho. Yay. So, all right. So the first thing is, I, I covered everything, right, Christina? I covered, tech says unavailable to you. Um, I checked your, I checked your, I checked and it, it looked like it was sent out. You know, like you got the link starting in, you know, live now. I saw it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you blocked me on your phone or something. I don't know. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the bangle. And I'm just, you didn't get it either. Well, there's, it, it might be going, I mean, okay, that's just weird. I know, I know it went out because I saw it. Maybe it's just super late. I wonder... The thrift store sleeveless blazer. No, I don't think so. Oh, wow. You went back. No, no. This is a, this is a vest that I've had forever from, uh, from I think it's Express, actually. It's old. Vintage now. Um, all right. So I might have made a mistake with the text, but um, I don't want to check it now because it's just it's going to be too hard. I'll, let me see. No, it went out. I see it right here. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Yes. Me too. Okay, so we're starting with this. This is beautiful. This is 12 karat gold filled. Oh, and all, oh, thanks, Lisa. Thanks for letting us know. Um, I also, because I made the list so um, not so long ago, like I did it so late, I made everything really low. Like, I just was like, whatever, like, I'm just going to sort of like make it up as I go along. 
and I didn't really like look at it that hard and and so everything I started like kind of like you can tell I was kind of making it up <laughs> oh yeah make sure you're in live chat yes 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 um oh those are good looks right with like some like liquidy liquidy things on top yeah liquid necklaces necklace eye so look how pretty this is it has an optical quality which is a very 70s thing that's in the texture it's like a brush texture all right it's probably easier to see with the etching side and it's 12 karat gold filled and it's like new and it it's an average size fits an average wrist it's a um a two and a half inch uh diameter that way i guess two and a half inches that way right the long side it's an oval it is the thickness of it is um more than half an inch thick and it has a slight concave and i started it at fifty dollars <laughs> whisper meow hi lakshmi whisper meow is new hi thank you for coming thank you for saying hello so here it is we started it at 50 it has the safety the safety figure eight clasp on top otherwise push in thank you tara tara and christina work so well together <laughs> and let's see if i can i will hold it up so you guys can see it now yeah it doesn't look like much until it's on a person and then you can really see okay 12 karat gold filled the color is perfect there's no wear on this at all of any kind hi angela <laughs> yeah service is temporarily unavailable when you text back or when you click the link that is very weird i, I maybe they're glitching it's quite possible that the people that, that um oh you know what they had new agreements that they made me agree to they sent an email with like you know updated agreement terms and i agreed but i wonder if they're slow on the uptake there oh when you text back oh interesting okay it's possible that a, a lot of people were texting remember how i said it's very odd because it doesn't happen that often but then like all of a sudden there'll be a lot of people that try and contact me at the same time like right before a show which is the worst time to try and talk to me <laughs> maybe you all texted at the same time i don't know it's very weird yeah lots of glitches everywhere so do we have any bids on this oh reddit was on strike that's right uh do i accept payments at the end of the week i will do that for people definitely when i have a relationship with them um you know if if i know you and you've bought from me before uh you know things like that yes absolutely um if you're a first timer i i don't know i don't know is the answer since you're asking publicly i feel like it's probably okay have you texted me do you did you text me your information so you know because if i don't have your information if i don't have a way to contact you then i will i will not just so you know okay uh i'm gonna pass on this yay tammy pool oh my goodness more another tammy <laughs> let's make it more confusing <laughs> you're definitely not accidentally blocked now i checked it i i can here i will show you i okay and then i'm going to get on with uh with uh i'm going to get back on track here but uh here here you are okay so next up is okay the sterling silver blade bangle now this i love this i never i did not look at it i know that it has a very interesting artist's mark okay um it's sterling it's almost like a uh 
<laughs> Hi, Linda. No, no, not really. Just, 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 you know, chatting, catching up with everybody, a little bit of house cleaning. So it's got this kind of uh, pattern in it, and it's a blade shape, and it's fairly heavy. I didn't weigh it because I was making it up as I went along, but this mark, the it's it's marked nine two five, and it has the artist mark, which is. A circle with like a mountain in the circle and a sun over it and it's it's pretty cool see it has that shape to it where it gets thinner which I really love and it's sterling silver and it's vintage and it's signed by the artist it's one of a kind and I started this at 52 the uh, the oh the gold fill bangle was the first item and I, I moved past it nobody bid on it Linda so this is the second item <laughs> this is number two it's in the list oh the disc the list is in the description everybody I knew I forgot to say something I always forget to say something all right and it's oh fifty as well <laughs> starting bid is fifty as well I just kind of made it up um, so looking for fifty to open it. Uh, all right. All right. And Okay. So there it is. And um it's slightly it's slightly bent does not detract when you're wearing it. There you go. Ruth is in for 50. Thanks, Ruth. It's so cool to see you in the chat. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to call this for Ruth Lila. All right. I'll count it down. Next bid would be 55. It is vintage, one of a kind, sterling blade cuff from the 1970s. Hi, Donna. I know. Ruth is in the chat. How cool is that? 1098 going once. 765 going twice. Fair warning number one. Fair warning number two. And sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Alrighty. See, I don't just hand it to Carly now. I have to make sure that I keep my notes. She can't even see it. She can't even see it on her computer. Like, she cannot get to YouTube. Her computer is messing up. So, hi, Vicki. I see you, Vicki M. All right. I know. It's so great that you're in there. <laughs> um, next one. Oh, the closet A bangle. Okay. So, this is a... Uh, this is smaller, but I also started it at 50 because it's such a rare rare thing and um it says made in india 925 silver and it's very beautiful all right there's a lot of detail in there it's almost like plique azure you know so that is sterling and uh, and definitely closet A. It's all in the wire. You know, that's glass. So, and there it is. That's what it looks like on the hand. Vicky says 50. Vicky is in for 50. Oh, the size, it's probably a three inch diameter. Yes, it is indeed. Three inches exactly, the standard size. And Vicky's in for 50. And Charlotte's in for 55. Let me put it on the um, on the pillow. Oh, it won't stay. There it is right there. It's a lovely thing. All right. Standard size. Vicki Murphy is at 60. Hi, Piper's mom. Yeah, so just, you know, the usual and customary three-inch diameter. Uh-oh, I have a cat attempting to do something crazy. No, no, no. Edgar? 
<laughs> the list is right down there. The list is right down there. If you wanted to, you know, you could take a screenshot and print it out, right? If you were serious about one thing in particular, I have been known to do things like that. Oh, did I show you the mark? The mark is so interesting. Um, and then we shall move on. <laughs> Never more. Yes. Okay, here it is. Isn't that cool? And there's even, you know, the enameling on the, on the sides there. It's quite nice. All right. So we are going to start counting it down. Ten, nine. Oh, Charlotte Gilmore, I think. Oh, we are already at 60. Vicki is at 60, Charlotte. Look at the next bit at 65. I'm going to count it down. All right, because we have a lot to get to tonight. 10, 9, 8 going once. <laughs> Seven. It's very pretty. It really is very pretty and unusual. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Charlotte said she's out. Okay, sold to Vicki M. Vicky, Vicky. All right, let me get your name on there. Vicky M. And on the post it. Right. And next up we have the Electroform Bangle. The Electroform Bangle. Oh, I had the bag here already. Oh well anyway, I'll do that. Okay. So this one is a this is a favorite of mine. Oh, this is heavy too. Vicky says yay. This one, like, this is one I really feel like this had me all over it. Look how nice this is. It's hand hammered. Um, it's thick. It's juicy. I mean, it's all, like, hand done in there. All right. And I think, was there a mark or did I just test it? I don't know. It was so long ago now. I'm still catching up. To everything. I feel like I saw a mark, but I might have just tested it. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, the mark is right there. Right there. See that? That is the mark. Anyway, beautiful texture on that one. Really nice thickness. Diameter on that is also three inches. And I started this one at 52, so you can tell. I, I mean 50 as well. <laughs> So you can tell, I really just, I really just kind of made up the starting bids. Oh, he's got that look in his eye. Yeah, and this is heavy. It's solid and juicy and heavy and good. Yeah, that's number, that's number four. If we are up to number four. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. Look at it from the side, like it's substantial, okay? Really nice texture. Kelly says 50. Kelly Kelly knows a good thing when she sees it. Kelly's a pro, everybody. Kelly knows. Yep, 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 that's a steal. That's going to be hard to let go of for 50 bucks. <laughs> Next bid is 55. We are at 50. The bid to beat is 50, looking for 55. All right, maybe I should go get the scale and start weighing them. It's nice. It's probably like a considerable amount of ounces. Ruth Lilla says 55. Here it is mixed with some other random bangles. These are actually the ones coming up next. I'm keeping them together as I said, but look how good it starts to look because it's artful, you know, and unique. Kelly, blue. <laughs> it's blue bluebird. There you are. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're in jewelry jail. Oh, well, thank you for being here and hanging out and making the group better. Always so fun when you're here. All right. <laughs> All right. Kelly is at 60. And next bid is 65. There it is. Look at that pretty thing. This is a good bang bangle. It really is. It's a good bracelet. It's a keeper. 
I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6. Ruth Layla is at 65. Ruth is at 65. And Kelly says, see, out. Or no, she says, see, out. Okay, sold to Ruth for 65. Congratulations, Ruth. You're going to like this one. You are going to like this one. 65. I guess it kind of goes a little faster without the buttons, right? Even without Carly taking the stuff. Okay, now we're doing these two. I started these at 50 as well. They're not an exact match, but they go really nice together. Um, they say, one of them says, one of them says Cancun, and the other one, and it has, Cancun has palm tree, no, Cancun has birds and stars, and the other one has uh, kind of a flower motif and, um, palm trees and they have the old marks. I'll show you the marks first. Hold up. There's there's the mark on that one. Okay. And then the mark on this one. So started them at 50 for both, which is honestly 25 each. Can't go wrong. There's the marks on hold on. Don's backwards. It's here and here. See that? All right. Vicky says 50. And these are very heavy. These are solid. These are just solid silver. See, this one has like thickness to it. That's solid silver. It's this is a heavy deal right here. Um, yeah. And Vicky says 50 for both. She's in at 50. And uh <laughs> Yeah, and Sue Ann says 55. There you go. Look how cool. They really do work together well, you know, and they have a vintage look. They have a very vintage vibe, don't they? And Kelly says, here we go again at 60. Kelly came in right before Vicky. Vicky texted 60, but Kelly was already in the chat at 60. So Kelly, ha Kelly has the bid to beat. <laughs> Kelly has the bid to beat. At 60. Next bid is 65. Oh, yeah, right. Carly's not here to go top bid, top bid. So, Vicky is at 65. And again, these are a perfect three inch diameter. And uh, this one is no longer perfectly round. It's very thick, though. Like, it, it does not. It's there, they are. They're, they're very organic looking. They're really lovely. Ah, thank you, Tara. I'm not feeling well. Oh, okay. Oh, Peg, feel better. Feel better, Peg. Keep us on at the background, you know? Or take a nap or, or, or tea or, or something. Wishing you well. All right, so Sue Ann is at 70. Uh-oh, there, uh, there goes my text screen. Piper's mom is at 80. Yes, it is for both. Just a reminder. Vicki, Piper's mom is at 80 already. Vicki has texted 75. <laughs> make sure you make sure you're all in live chat and the red the red line is all the way at the end. Oh, look at that sun. It just totally changed. The light just totally changed. All right, I'm going to try and put the shade down maybe. All right. Piper's mom is at 80. <laughs> okay, Vicky says she's out. I think I'm going to start counting it down for Piper's mom. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going. Oh, Sue Ann is at 85. Sue Ann is at 85. You really can see the thickness there. For that bottom one. Yeah, they're beautiful. All right, I got to change the light because I'm going to go, it's going to get right in my eyes in one second. So I will be right back.
Hopefully that made a difference. Yes, hurrah. Okay. Piper's mom is out. So who's got it? Sue Ann at 85. All right. Sold. Congratulations, Sue Ann. These are beautiful and heavy. I mean, you'll be surprised. Um, and I know you won't scrap them. So they're going to the right person. Okay. Edgar's like, what'd you do, Mom? <laughs> Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Okay. Okay. Now, I know I'm saying okay a lot. Because I'm doing lots of little things I don't normally do. Okay, it's time for the vintage Disney bracelet. Um... Where did I put it? This was such a fun thing for me to find. No? Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. Look how fun this is. So... It actually has um, a little tag that says Disney, and it's got an old fold-over clasp, okay? So that's pre-1980s, and it has all of these fun things, all these, these um, the charms. It has Dumbo. Dumbo also, you can age it by Dumbo. Dumbo is kind of an older older character that they, didn't, they, they haven't really forwarded. And then we got uh, Mickey and Donald and uh, that's the back of Mickey, Minnie. There's the front of Minnie and um, Goofy and Tinkerbell. Wait, where is she? Doing it backwards. There she is. So how fun is that? Gold-plated, probably 1960s, I don't know, 1970s, maybe I would say 1970s. Um, if they were still doing Dumbo, look how fun. I started it at 45. Yeah, Kathy, Kathy knows. She saw it on the list. Oh, the headband. So I tried to order these for everybody. I put in a thing. I tried because they were only, they were available. I got mine originally on Amazon, um, but they were made by somebody. You know what I mean? It was one of those few things where they were handmade and, then I tried to put in an order for like a few dozen handmade and it, it never happened. You know, I think they just move on. I think they just do things so fast like they're on to the next thing. Yes. <laughs> so Kathy has bid 45 on this. It is delightful. It is the old curb link. Uh, they're really nice charms. Okay says Disney on it. I love that it has Dumbo. Yeah, I know. I love, look, my favorite is Dumbo. Oh, that's the back of them. There's the front of them. Look. Look how awesome. And Mickey and Donald, they're all there. Okay. All right. I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8 going once. So delightful and charming, Tara says. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning number one. <laughs> I love Dumbo too. Yes. Fair warning number two. Oh, they are like jewelry. Totally. Yeah, this one definitely. This was like so well made. And sold. Congratulations. I can't remember who got it. Who got it? Kathy, of course. Yes, Kathy. Awesome. You got this for 45 Oh, yay. Okay. Kathy Butler. Okay. 
45, Kathy B. All right. You're welcome. Yay. Yay. Yeah, it's been a while since you've won something. Okay. Now. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe I started this at 75. What was I thinking? All right. Here we go. This is so nice. Okay, so just the clasp is a $75 clasp. There's the clasp. All right, push in like that. Then it's all knotted. All right, that's onyx with sterling in between. Three strands and then sterling on the bottom. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Let me get it on the neck. Oh, maybe I'll measure it first. No, I'll just show it to you first. I do love this. I started I started it really low. I mean, I, I, I knew what I was doing. I was like, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to start everything kind of like I'm making it up, and that's what I did. There it is with the clasp kind of to the side. Oh, it's beautiful. It's It really it reminds me of like the NR kind of designs right that I had I, I think it came from the same person you know because I got it right after those um, when they were still putting out that collection let me measure and for those of you that were wondering it's not that I have a problem measuring or I don't have the right thing it's that I have very I'm in a very small room and this part of this thing that I'm surrounded with takes up quite a bit of space. And so I only have a small table that fits in this room. And so I kind of don't have a lot of space on the table. So that's what's going on with that. All right. It is 17 inches long. And it is three strands. All right. There's a close up of the silver. And the onyx and the clasp. It's finished beautifully. And uh, no, it's 17. It's 17. If it's like that, it's 17. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Pamela, hi. Pamela says, oh, it's gone. <laughs> wow, that was fast. <laughs> All right. All right. Kathy is at 90. So you can wear this several ways. You can have it kind of messy or you can flip it and have it be more straight. I've done it where it's been more straight. But now, oh, it's kind of twisted. I like it twisted too. There it is. I think that's my favorite anyway. Look how good that looks. Look at that. Yes. Oh, Pearl, hi. Vicky says 95, and we are at 100. Per, I think Kathy is the first one in at 100. Stella is at 105. And it's very chic. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very chic. It's extremely high end. Look at that. Um, again, the class alone is, uh, you know, what the starting bid was at, at the least. You know, look at that. It's a beautiful, I mean, they're expensive. Yeah. Pearl Dot says 110. <laughs> It is very, yeah, it truly is. It truly is lovely. Doesn't it remind you of the NR, guys? The NR designs? There it is that way. All right. Stella is at 115. Kathy's out. Pearl Dot is at 120. <laughs> I like your name. I'm giggling because of your name and your your uh, your your doggy, your doggo. Yes. And it just says sterling. It just says sterling. There is no maker's mark. Um, I will see if I can get that in the in the thing. See? Oh, it might be etched. 
you know there might be a script I think there's something in script there but I I can't uh, it's very rubbed out it's very rubbed out Tammy pool is at 135 pearl dot came in right before Stella at 140 and yeah cool Angela right the half the half black half white but it's silver Vicki says she's out. Thanks, Vicki, for letting us know. Yeah. Now, I have it twisted, but you could unclasp it and straighten it, right, so that it just falls straight. But I, I like it twisted. I'm going to leave it that way for the next person. <laughs> All right. Pearl Dot says 145. And then she says, whoops, which I don't know what the oops is for. Oh, for the 140. Yeah, 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 right. We are at 145. I'm going to take a drink. Stella says she's out, so I'm going to count it down. 1098765. Fair warning, fair warning. Sold. Congratulations, Pearl Dot. Um, let me make sure. I'm going to give, I'm going to put this up now. So I'm going to, okay. There it is. All right, Pearl, make sure you text me if you haven't already so that I can send you the button. Just let me know that you are, in fact, Pearl <laughs> um, and that you won this. Pearl dot, and it is, yep, 140. Okay. Oh, it's 140. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you. So, 140. You guys, who's left-handed? Who's Are any of you left-handed? Because I'm left-handed, so when I write, I write, like, straight up and down, like this, you know? Like, I don't, I don't like, turn my hand like that. I'm wondering if, how many other people do that. Okay. Oh yeah, do you do you turn your hand or do you just turn the, I turn the page sideways. <laughs> oh, you're ambidextrous? That's cool. I used to be more ambidextrous than than uh now I'm kind of not at all, but at one time I was a little bit. Okay, it's time for the jade nugget necklace. I enjoy this one. Yeah, this is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a barrel clasp. Okay, this is, uh, it's testing as jade. Uh, it's, they're decent sized nuggets. I feel like I didn't start this one crazy enough. I started this at 50, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to start it at 30. I'm going to take $20 off. In keeping with the crazy, the crazy thing, and it's 16 inches long. Yeah, starting bid 30. All right. There it is on the neck. Kind of, you know, speaks for itself. Doesn't need a lot of explanation. It's just a nice old jade nugget necklace. A little bit of variations on the jade. Thanks, Fern. <laughs> Look at you guys work together like a team. Look at that. <laughs> you do turn the paper sideways. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I turn I turn the paper sideways and I write um down. I write I write like that. So it's Jade. It's a nugget. <laughs> Chris says 30. Hi, Chris. It's a good deal at 30. It's genuine jade. It's vintage. It's a nice green. I'm going to start counting it down for Chris. Chris is going to get lucky first bid. And I think this might be first for you too, Chris. I don't I don't know. There's there's uh there's a lot of Christinas and Chris's and things, but I don't know if I've just seen Chris before. So I'm going to count it down, 10, 9, 8, beginners, beginners, luck, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, fair warning, 
fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Chris. That's a good one. That's a good one. Woohoo. All right. Oh, another thing that happened was, uh, so I went to kindergarten in Greenpoint. I, I went to St. Cecilia's in Greenpoint, which is now condos. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I better write this before I get too distracted. So, yeah, so I went to kindergarten there um, before I went to public school, you know. And um, they, they, uh, I, I don't know, I might have been reading earlier, I don't remember, but in any case, she taught us the alphabet in kindergarten, and she taught us the alphabet backwards. It's kind of a weird thing. She, they used to take us into the basement to teach us the alphabet backwards, okay, like at this Catholic school. St. Cecilia's, Google it, St. Cecilia's in, uh, in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, but I still know it backwards to this day, which is a fun human trick at parties. Yes, next. Ooh, Tara's up in the game. Okay, so this one, this is a crazy, crazy start. All right, this is beautiful, bright tourmaline. It's little because it's fine tourmaline, um, but it's fine. Um, and the length on this is, oh, this is a little shorter. This is a little bit over 16 inches it's like 16 and a half inches but look how fine that's small that's the small tiny tiny tourmaline really bright colors and then it gets bigger okay it's a beautiful thing oh thanks for texting christy i got you christy Yay, Chris with a capital T. Thank you. Perfect connection. I will be able to send it to you now. There you go. That's it. 16 and a half inches of bright tourmaline. And I started this at 50. This was such a score. All right. Oh, interesting. Look at the colors on that tourmaline. Look at the blues and the pinks. Started it at 50. Linda, hello. Linda is in at 50. This is a steal at 50. Maybe I'll put it on the little pink neck so you can really see the color. They're very bright. She, uh, I have a silent bitter at 55. <laughs> Almost said it. <laughs> Almost said it. All right, silent bitter by phone at 55 with the blue there and the pinks and the bright greens and the raspberries, really lovely. Oh, you guys are bidding, I wasn't looking. Okay, so then uh, Stella, Stella was the first at 60. Yep, Tara's got it. And Silent Bitter is at 65. There it is. Yeah, you can really see the colors now. Isn't that remarkable? I love tourmaline so much. This is really gemmy. Okay. And Linda is at 75. This was such a happy score. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I actually don't know that, Eclectics. And Silent Peter is at 80. And Stella says she's out. Hi, Patrick. Hi. Look at the pinks. Isn't that beautiful? And Linda K is at 85. <laughs> I 
there's some pretty blues. Oh, look, you can see the rose on my nail. <laughs> I love having pretty nails. I'm such a convert now. <laughs> and Linda is at 85. And um, I'll put it on the neck one more time. And Silent Bitter is at 90. Old spring ring clasp on that. Okay, Tara. Thank you so much for 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 um, being part of the team, for your for your uh, for your help and your assistance. And. Oh, you didn't learn the alphabet backwards, but you have dyslexia, so you naturally know it backwards. Oh, that's fascinating. You know, that's interesting. I feel it when I was younger, it really was like a silly party trick that I would do. And I would say to people, you probably know it backwards. Like, you just have to think about it, you know. But, uh, but yeah, but it was ingrained in me as a child. I know. I love tourmaline, too. Okay, so top it is, I think it's Linda K at 95. And Silent Bitter says they're out. So I will count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Fair warning, fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Linda K. Linda K. And I might still have something floating around for you. I don't, I don't know. Well, let me write this down. 95. And also put it on my notes. Okay. And now it's time for the short amethyst necklace. And uh, I, to be fair, like I got to show you the ones from, from Maria. All right, so this is the one that I thrifted. And this is beautiful. It's old, right? It has the old barrel clasps, nice old rounds there. Nice clarity. Look at what Maria. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord. Everybody knows Maria, right? Her standards. That is amethyst. <laughs> And rock crystal, that's coming up. Lavender, right? Like, this is actually like a regular amethyst color. And then she also, <laughs> the briolettes, look at that. And that's dark, that's really gemmy. That's like Brazilian uh, briolette. So she's, so that's coming up later. But I just wanted you guys to know before I showed you this right and i started this at 40. nice old somewhat graduated i know <laughs> yes maria's like i'm maria <laughs> everyone knows who you are maria don't you worry you're like a rock star here you really are people you don't know this but people text me sometimes they're like is maria gonna be there <laughs> is maria coming <laughs> And then sometimes when you get to the chat, people are like, Maria's here. Yes, I know. How are you going to resist? How are you going to resist? Uh-huh. Right. So this is 40. Um, oh. I got something from... What does that mean? What does that mean, TD? Oh, it's just a heart. TD is it's just a heart. Okay. All right. So, um, do I hear 40 on this? It is lovely. Nice old amethyst. They're old amethyst beads. Yes. Maria is a treasure in many ways, indeed. Yes. All right. So, if this is a pass, uh, I think I might do this as a, as a, as a, oh, nope. That's a, if this is the pass, I might make this tonight's giveaway. It's eight o'clock. It's almost eight o'clock. How many likes do we have? Oh, 
Silent Bid is in at 40. Silent Bidder has said 40. I think they're going to steal it. Next bid is 45. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5. Oh, length. The length is 16 inches. Sorry. <laughs> 16 inches exactly. Oh, Kelly's like, Kelly knows. Kelly can tell just by looking at it on the bust. Kelly really is a pro. <laughs> All right, so we have 40. Next bit is 45. 81 likes. Okay, so if, um, uh, well, I have a bit on this. All right, I take it back. When the, when it presents itself, I will come up with a challenge. When it presents itself, I will come up with a challenge. All right. Tina E is at 45. Hello, Cindy Deemer. Next bid is 50. We will wait and see if Silent Bidder would like to bid again or if they are out. Well, hello. Hello, little one. You coming to say hello? All right. What's, what am I going to do? What? I got to come up with something. All right. I'll tell you what. I have $10 sitting here. All right, if you can get 100 likes. Okay, so Silent Bitter is out. So this is gonna go to Tina E for 45. Congratulations, Tina E. Good one, good one. And if I don't have your info, make sure you, uh, you text it to me, please. Texting is so much better. It's just so much easier. And then I will be able to send you your button and get this off to you. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I should take it from here. Okay. And, okay, the next one, the next one's um, a real favorite of mine. This is cool. Straightening up the things. Just bear with me for a second. Okay. All right. So, um, the next thing we're doing, yeah, both of these are, I, wait, this one is, this one has an adjustable link at the end. So it can, it can be as long as that. Okay, it's beautiful. Um, the next thing we're doing is the wood pendant, the modernist wood pendant. Again, I started this kind of low enough so that if somebody scores it for the first bit, it's gonna be painful to me. It really is kind of a too far. It's this beautiful handmade chain with the toggle Okay, look at it. Look at that chain. And then the pendant. Isn't this lovely? And it might be a touch wood thing. I don't know. It looks really modernist to me. Um, there are like very famous modernist uh, jewelry designers that did things like this with rosewood and teak. That's what it looks like on. Isn't that gorgeous? I made it 75. I started it at 75. So, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Lori. Hello, hello. So what I was going to say was, um, how many likes are there? How many likes? How many likes? Oh, I'm laggy. 85 likes. Okay. So if you can get to 100 likes by 8.30... No, if you can get to 100 likes by 820, I'll give away this $10 to anyone who's here, okay? 100 likes by 820. All right. <laughs> and this, oh, the length, yes. Oh, Kelly, Kelly says 85. 
Kelly, you're fun. Okay, so this is um, eighteen. It's about nineteen inches long. It's not quite nineteen. It was made by someone. The 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 uh, the person. It was the the name of the designer is Mima M I M A, and if you Google it, it's expensive. It's somebody in South Africa. Okay. And Kelly says 85. Will I auction it off? I know I was thinking I would just take an offer on it. Um, and, and you know, because whoever gets it, you're going to pay for shipping. So I was thinking whoever really wanted it and was willing to pay for shipping. I mean, I know how to do it. The shipping will probably cost, you know, $24. Like, I'm guessing, because I sent a box very similar from California to New York, and that was, uh, like, 24 and change. So I think it's that's, like, the most it's going to be. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. This is lovely. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give this too much time because I... <laughs> oh, no! That's right, Kelly's already in at 85. Oh my God, Kelly. Well, Kelly's lovely. Kelly, and no, I do not, I do not um, hold a grudge. Look how nice that is. Look how nice it is, though. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Totally worth it. No, it is, of course. All right. I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, it's the chain is gorgeous. The chain itself is so useful. Like we were talking the other day about having that right chain for the rotocrosite heart. This is kind of top of mind. All right, 10, 9, 8 going once, 7, 6, 5 going twice. Oh, Sherry Spots says 90. <laughs> Deborah, hi, Deborah has really good taste. Deborah, this is very you. Deborah, Deborah collects like modern art, right? Um, who is it, Deborah, that I'm thinking of that did all the de designs with the rosewood and the teak? Scandinavian, not like Spratling. There's a Scandinavian, or no, uh, maybe not. Maybe it was New York school. Somebody who was friends with like, um, what was his name? Henry Stieg. It's like right on the tip of my brain. Ed Levin, Ed Levin used wood. But there's somebody whose design is more similar. Not coming to mind. But you know who it is, right? Is it on the tip of your brain? It's right on the tip of my brain. Used like dark, dark woods and then like the silver as like dots in it. Oh, 100 likes. Yay. How about that? Someone's getting a tenor. Uh, Ebony. Right. Ebony. Who is it? It's making me nuts. Calder era. <laughs> the brain <laughs> okay well that's how you know right that's how you know when someone studied because they can't pull all the information all the time from all the different sources it's different than just going google you know um mm -M -M is here all right okay i lost track of the bids out to sherry okay so uh it's sold to sherry congratulations sherry Kelly says, enjoy. Sherry Spots. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. It's a lovely one. You're going to love it. You're going to love the chain. That was a good deal. Okay. I think it's... it's uh, the charm, the sterling silver. Oh, it's, it's time for the first Maria piece of the night. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Things are heating up. I feel like I should take a loo break. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it because things are going to get crazy very, very soon. I will be right back.
Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Ah. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. This is loaded. This is what you call loaded. All right. The technical term for this is loaded. Oh, I can't see the comments. Let me get to the comments. All right. I should weigh this too. Well, it's heavy. It's an oldie. Gosh. All right. So let's start with the kind of, um, the kind of a uh, charm bracelet that it is. It's the flat link. Okay. And then, I mean, like, I really hope whoever gets this doesn't sell the, the, I know that you can sell them individually, but someone put this together a long time ago. Look, this is, um, mechanical. It's a mechanical bicycle. That itself is probably worth so much. Then we have this little, there's so many, this little enamel. Hold on. Let me try and turn it. Okay, there's so many. All right, maybe I'll go. I'll go the other way. All right, so bicycle. Um, uh, I guess a peach. I don't know. Enameled on both sides. Amazing. Look at this. Like a little log cabin. Okay. Whatever that is, is it an astronaut? Is it a Mayan? I don't know. I don't know. They're old. It's really cool. And then palm trees. And then, um, what is that? What is it? Is it? Oh, oh my gosh. It's a little man in a kimono. Oh, wow. Or a woman. Oh, no. It's a woman holding. Look, she has feet. Oh, wow. This is so nice. Maybe she's holding necklaces or something. Okay. Uh... We have a silent bidder at 65. Then the next one after that is a hula dancer. Oh, Lay's. Lay's, yes. And then look at this gorgeous thing. This is an oldie. All right, that's sterling and enamel. Look at that. That's the, I know that this is a $100 right here by itself. And then we have a surfboard that says Hawaii. Okay, marked. And then what is this one? Oh my God, it's a mechanical fan. No way. Is it? No. It's not. Is it? It is. Okay, the fan turns inside there. That's freaking cold. They don't make things like this anymore. And then enameled um, seahorse. And then uh, leaves, like a little twig, and then back to the that thing, whatever that is. That looks like some kind of like Scandinavian seal or something. So that's all of them. And, oh, length, right. I'm sure it is the um, usual and customary length. Nice oversized spring ring on this beautiful, heavy, solid silver um, the likes of which you do not see. Oh, and the swordfish. I missed the swordfish after the bicycle. See the mechanical bicycle and then the enameled swordfish. There he is. Okay. And the length is... Um, I love the bicycle so much and the enameled fish. Okay, the length is seven inches, a little bit over seven inches, a tiny bit over seven inches. Yeah. It's wonderful. It wears like a good old loaded one. All right, Valerie is at 70 and Silent Bitter is at 75. Yes. 
I guess the bicycle in the I guess the bicycle is Hawaii too, huh? And the fan, right? Because it's tropical. Definitely the the man holding the lays. Is that Hawaii too? Look at that. Is that like like the the symbol? There it is. Pretty neat, huh? And Lori says 80 and Valerie is out. The hula dancer moves. That's cool, Maria. Oh my gosh. I did not see that. And the legs move. The legs are also articulated. <laughs> they don't make things like this. All right. Oh, could be a state seal. Okay. All right. We are at 85. Silent Bitter is at 85. It does look like a crest. Yeah. My favorite is definitely hands down this wonderful thing. You know, the, um, I mean, the, look, look at the mechanics of this. Okay. The pedals and the, the wheels go round. And the front wheel goes like that. I mean, who does that? You know, all silver. I know it's cute. Nancy, Nancy says, Nancy P is at 90. And Silent Bitter almost said your name. <laughs> Silent Bitter is at 95. And look, everybody, it's not Ruth. <laughs> so what is this then? Oh, is this like, a, maybe it's like a thatched hut or something? like a Hawaiian structure. Look at that though. Look how dimensional it is. Isn't that awesome? Lori says she's out. Ruth is at 100. <laughs> and then, Oh, it's a goldfish. It's a goldfish. <laughs> Silent Bitter is at 105. Oh, a grass hut. Oh, right. Linda's in Hawaii. Duh. Yeah, this is vintage. This came from Maria. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, and quite heavy. There's a lot of, there's a, it's probably like a pound. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of ounces here. So I think Nancy, so Silent Bitter was 105 and then Nancy was first. Okay, Silent Bitter is back to 115. Silent Bitter came in before Ruth at 115. How many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so there's fourteen charms and the bracelet. What does that come out to per thing at one fifteen? That's got to be at the bargain of the century. 14 charms and the bracelet. Ruth is at 120. Yeah. That's a good deal. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Hawaii State Seal. All right. And Silent Bitter is at 125. Oh, Silent Bitter, right before you, Nancy P. Right before you, Nancy P. The fan is the, the coolest. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Ruth is out. So uh, it's between Silent Bitter and Nancy P. Silent Bitter and Nancy P. Um, oh, you want to hear me say it? 
at the end of the auction. Okay, that's cool. So Nancy's out. So Silent Bitter is getting this one for $125. Uh, yeah. Say hooray. <laughs> I know she's happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really something. Oh, DB is here. Hooray, she says. And thanks, she also says. Okay. Did I put it on the note? Sometimes I get distracted. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Um, Z Y X W B U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H D F E D C B A. Okay. Uh, Sterling Silver Art Deco Era. Oh, okay. So these came from a recent thrifting expedition and I started them crazy low. These are circa 1920s, 1930s. They are rhodium plated sterling. Little bow forms. All right. Uh, the crystals, one of the crystals I believe has darkened. Uh, it does not detract. Okay, these are old rhodium plating and they're paste really. They're not crystal, they're paste. And those are real pearls. Those are real pearls in there. That's what the back looks like. Okay, this is, these are kind of incredible. Very old, these are 100 years old everybody. Oh, I just realized my comments are, um, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, so we're starting these at for I was they 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 forced me to learn it in kindergarten. I don't I don't know why. So, it's a fun human trick. Yes. Is paste glass? I don't know. Uh it's referred to as paste. It's some kind of crushed crushed thing. That would be good homework. That's a good thing to to uh to go back and and learn. That's a great question. Um, <laughs> oh, Angela, <laughs> Angela, <laughs> we love Angela, <laughs> but yes, Christina's, Christina's doing a thing with the, with the, uh, look, there they are. Isn't that lovely? Paste is an early rhinestone. All right. It's an early kind of rhinestone. Oh, paste has lead in it. Thank you. All right. And these are early. But look how fresh it looks. Look at it in the back. That's rhodium plating. It clearly says sterling everywhere, but you can see the rhodium plating. That's rhodium plating, everybody. That's why. That's why it doesn't age. That's why vintage is so good. If you can learn how to recognize rhodium plating, you will be ahead. You will be halfway there. Look how lovely these are. <laughs> oh, how can you tell how old the earrings are? From the clasp, right? The clasp is a good indicator and from the materials and from the style. Okay, so this is, uh, there you go. This kind of um, screw back is very indicative of the Art Deco period, as, as is the materials and the design of this. Uh, just really beautiful little, little bows with pearls hanging from them. And the pearls are real, and that is also something that they did. Like, if you know, you know that they often use synthetic stones with real pearls in that time period. <laughs> Yes, I can. <laughs> On a good day, if I've had enough sleep. All right, that's, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't really quite do that right now, Charlotte. We gotta stay on topic. This is what we were saying. Like, I, I got a few comments from, from, you know, longtime regulars that were saying things like, you know, 
try and remind people like if it adds value to the discussion at hand you know things like that i have many videos many many videos yeah we could do a show about it right but uh, but i have a vast library of uh, on on the art deco period and on like the 1980s and the 1950s and on different designers and on how to see it and recognize it and all of that stuff <laughs> yeah so yeah uh, so I forget where we were. Did no one bid? Did, am I getting to keep these? Because I kind of did sell them to myself. All right. Moving on. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, yeah. No, because it can get to be a lot. You know, it can really get to be a lot. And, and I didn't just hear it from one person. I heard it from like a few people. So, um, okay. Uh, next is, oh, it's time for the Moonstone. Okay. I started these at 50 and then after after these is the these oh no the the uh, it's not I love these though these are artists after these it's the face earrings where's the other one come here you come out come out these are lovely. These are big, juicy moonstones. And I started them at 50. And you can see how good they are, even with all the crazy light in here. Okay. Theirs is the back. Really well made. And many people are bidding. I am not surprised. Here's my, uh, my stand. Oh. Let's get the length of the drop. The length of the drop is with the hook um, two inches, just under two inches. And without the hook, uh, one and just under one and a half. Just under one and a half without, without the hook. Okay. Here they are. Julie says she's out. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Oh, Ruth is at 95. Top bid, Ruth at 95. All right. And Stella's out and Julie's out. All right. We're going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Fair warning, fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Yeah, these are good ones. These, are, these happen to be, these bottom ones especially, are especially clear and good. I saw one recently in a museum, and when I saw these, I, it instantly reminded me of that. Uh, Ruth, 95. And yay, Ruth. Ruth, 95. Okay, the bags are getting farther away because I'm using them up. <laughs> like reaching farther. Okay. Um... Oh, I had to write that there. Okay, the face earrings, I started at 45. These are unusual. I haven't seen anything like this before. Oh, here they are. I really like these, too. I like all of these. And isn't it nice? Like, the variation is nice tonight. We have Maria's stuff. We have my stuff. We have stuff from a consigner coming up, which if you saw the, the preview... And lots of things, not, not, not real necklace heavy tonight, you know, like lots of, lots of earrings, lots of, of, um, bracelets and look, there's the faces. Look how cool these are. Abstract faces. Started them at 45. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi, oh, a new member. Hey, Tico, Catherine Fisher. Hi, oh, and somebody, that's right. Right before I started when I was trying to get Carly connected, I saw that somebody joined and I didn't acknowledge because I've, you know, Carly and I were like really trying to, to make thing happen that we could not make happen. So I apologize. Welcome to the new members. Thank you and welcome. It's super fun. We do members only every other Friday. There is one coming up this Friday. I haven't scheduled it yet. These are the face earrings. Kelly says 45. Kelly knows what she's doing. Here it is for scale. Okay, nice size. Super awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. They're so artful. And, oops. And I want to show them to you from the other side, too. Like, they're, they look good from any angle, which is, in my mind, kind of how I measure most things, you know, design-wise. Um, so there they are that way. And then if I turn it over, you know, finished both sides. Isn't that nice? Kelly's like, call it, call it. Okay, I'm going to call it. 10987656 sold. Congratulations, Kelly. Woohoo! Yes, they are sterling. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It was on the list. I didn't say it. It was on the list. Sterling silver face earrings. Kelly stole those. And I'm okay with it. Kelly, age 45. Alrighties. Those are good. And next up is the sterling silver fan earrings. Okay, these are very, very nice. I started these at 50. Um, these are, these are very solid. They are not tinny, even though they have that, they're, they're super solid, like super thick, super solid, really nice size. They are after Schlumberger for Tiffany. Um, there was an entire whole thing that happened because of those designs. Um, Monet even did some, but these are sterling silver. Okay. And there's, they're asymmetrical. So you can wear them anyway, you know, whichever way you want. I'm trying to think. I think I like, I think I like this way better. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So, and they're pierced. And I started them at 50. Okay. Linda says 50. Linda knows what she's looking at. There's the other side. I think they're just signed sterling, if I remember. I did not see a maker's mark. They're beautiful. They're really well made. They are so solid. Yep, yep, yep. Let me get them on the tree. I'll give them another minute. I love them too. Oh, totally, Maria. Yes, yes, right. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kelly. There you go. Here they are. Linda's in at 45. Next bid is 50. Oh, Linda's in at 50. 10, I'm sorry. That's right. I started them at 50. 10, 9, 8 going once. Thank you. Seven, six, five going twice. Oh, they're a steal. Oh, they're a steal. Fair warning number one. Fair warning number two. And sold. Congratulations, Linda Keller. <laughs> I didn't hold it back. I did not hold it back. Oh, these are nice. Okay, Linda Keller. Linda K, 50, and Linda K, 50, good one, first bid, first bid is always a score, honestly, um, and now, oh, 
Oh, as I know that's right. You did ask about that. I am holding on to those for a moment. Just a, just a moment. I have to get them looked at by someone. They, I found an interesting mark on them. Uh, okay, the sterling silver square earrings. I started these at 45. These are very 70s. And they're kind of geometric. The squares kind of move around. All right. Oh, I just lost the hook. Come here, you. Okay. These are also artist made. There you go. See, the squares are kind of different on both of them right now. They move around. Nice length on these. Oh, how long? Okay. Uh, they are... Oh, they are two and a half inches. They are two and a half inches long. All right. And they're, there you go, they're kind of all hand done. The, uh, the squares are attached to kind of a chain so that they move around. Very geometric. I like them. I like them. Pretty with long hair. <laughs> Christina is so great. Christina, you're so like professional. <laughs> you're really good. Linda says 45. Stella says 50. Yes, those. I like those RLMs. Yes, these are these are sort of those were sort of a riff on things like this. These are from the 70s. Okay. Very art fair. Yeah, 1970s art fair. Don't you just see it with a good coach bag? I always see things like this with a good coach bag and some good boots, you know, maybe a jean with a little bit of tiny little, like a boot cut jean and a nice blazer. <laughs> Stella says she's out, okay. Uh, counting it down for, uh, for Linda K, 10, 9, 8 going once, 7, 6, 5 going twice, fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Linda K. Good deal on those. Linda K. My eyes are starting to go. Oh, it makes sense. It's 8.38 already. It's 8.40. Yeah, no wonder they're starting to go. Okay, Linda K. All right, we'll do the giveaway at the end. We'll do the giveaway at the end, okay? Uh, long crystal necklace. That is this one. This is a long one. This has been restrung. These are old crystals that have, this has been restrung. It looks like the clasp was taken from like two separate things. It's a lobster claw in a silver, the lobster claw might be silver actually. And then the other, the, the loop part is a gold tone. These are nice though. These are big crystals, okay? They're, you can't get these anymore apparently. Uh, on the market. They don't, they don't sell them. They're not selling them um, to people anymore. And they're big. Okay, they're big. And I started it at 45 and the length is, the crystals themselves are about half an inch. So, you know, each crystal is about half an inch, just a hair under. So they're big. And um, this is uh, 18 and a half, 18 and a half times two, whatever 18 and a half times two. <laughs> 
That is the length of it. There it is. All right, started at 45, it's a good one. Not bad. Long, big crystals, 45. William! Yes. All right. I don't know what the 37s represent. <laughs> Lisa S. says 45. Lisa S. is in it. 45. Oh, 37 inches. Duh. <laughs> Thank you. Dawn can't do math anymore. Right. Dawn's eyes are going. All right. Lisa S. is in it. 45. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Lisa S. These are good. All right. And they, look, they drape well. All right. Lisa S. 45. Lisa S. 45. Okay. And now, oh, guess what it's time for? The OG. That's right. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's time for something I, I could have kept, and I'll probably have seller's remorse. I never saw one like it. And then I waited, and I looked on the internet, and, like, there aren't any other ones. This is so cool. That guy's poking through. Okay. All right, so here it is. This is all really good crystal. Look at these giant, look at these crystals, these giant crystals. The spheres, like, I don't, like, it's, it, it's practically a sun catcher. I mean, look, look at the different shapes, too. The points and the marquees and the briolettes and, the, you know, the briolettes make flowers. This is the signed Natasha. Okay, it's any size. This is the extent of the adjustable link. These are the larger links. Okay, even with the headband, it's like amazing. I, I'm not gonna look at this too hard because I will get remorse. This I started at 75. Yeah, I started this at 75. This is a keeper. This is all this is already future vintage like it's it's now it's a forever it's I mean think about the Haskell the reason I'm selling this I must remind myself is because I have a clear glass Haskell so okay so lots of people bid 75 there's also little rhinestones or crystals in the middle of the flowers which I didn't even see in the store look how nice see that prong set Here's the construction. Look at the back. It's on the chain. It's all beaded onto the links of the chain. If you can dig it, if you can dig it. Here, let me, uh, I'll put it on back. There it is backwards. You can wear it this way. It like, if you wanted to for a more, like without the crystals, it just looks like you know, without the little rhinestones, it's just more like crystal, crystal, like ethereal. And then this is the actual front with the flowers, with the centers. I like it better this way. Oh, God, gosh. I almost cursed. <laughs> I almost cursed. Oh, and you know what? I just realized the earrings that I kept from that estate sale. Look at the shapes. This is not a signal that I'm selling these to the person who wins. This is a signal that I should be keeping this for me because I'm keeping it here. No, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, Chris, it's amazing. I know it's so good. It's so good. And these are, these are when they're like this and they're statement and they were expensive to make the first time. So the way that it works for, for everyone, like if you, you know, a question that you might have in your mind Companies like this, they made less of their really expensive pieces. You know, same thing with Swarovski, with, with all of them, right? The really high-end ones were always more limited. 
So something like this is really high end, like clearly. So there were less of them and they're automatically, um, you know, valuable. You know what I mean? They're never going to lose their value. When things are made well, they, 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 when, they, when, they're, when they start expensive, they stay expensive, you know. And I think Ruth came in before Stella. Oh, my God, it's a Ruth Stella Smackdown public. It's on public display. <laughs> there they are. This usually happens to the side. All right. I, Ruth is first, Stella. Ruth did come in first. I don't know. She might not hear me. Stella's out. Okay. 1098 765. It's great. It's crazy great. Fair warning. Fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Yay, Ruth. Yay, Ruth. Yay. It's so beautiful. Okay. It's a good one. Let me mark my notes. It's a good price, too. Okay, now, what's next? Okay, it's time. La. All the angels are singing. The Violet Lavender Amethyst. All individually knotted. Okay, so this is three strands. So, and they graduate in length. There's the, um, no signature or anything. I think someone made it, actually. See by that clamper bead and the cord? And then they just used kind of like a bead store um, clasp. There's the lobster claw and chain. And look at that thing. Look at these. Very clear violet lavender amethyst, heavy, blended in just on the sides of the, it's sort of on the, okay, so it's on the bottom of two of the chains. There's, this is nice. It's actually well thought out. And then let's see if I can get it to lay graduated so that the middle one is in the middle. I might not be able to in this condition that my eyes are in. Nope. Now what have I done? Okay, there it is. Okay. So <laughs> I should put it on the neck. Hold on. I cannot see. Okay. So what I'm trying to show you is that there is these rock crystals. These are uh, quartz crystal. See the way they're cut? And they're placed kind of on the sides of where the curve starts. So except for there's, there's two that have it kind of in the center, but not one. So it, see how it lays? See how it's just like variegated and you can't tell what's going on? That's good design. And then look at the color variation on those stones. I mean, really, like it's a great. It's and then the, and the length is like any length, super long. Um, I will measure the longest one. I will tell you what the longest one is, but it could still be longer because the the link chain is not at its fullest. Okay. This is beautiful. This is, okay, so the longest, it is uh, 32 inches. The longest one is 32 inches, but there's still room. There it is. Amazing, right? Yeah. 
Maria's been collecting. Well, you guys have seen Maria's casket collection. You've seen. You kind of know. You know Maria's collection. Maria has been collecting, uh, like her, like since before she was an adult, really. Oh, that's the way to wear it. Like a joker with the drapes. Oh, that's fem. That's hot. Okay, I want it. I want it. All right. Yeah, it's all one necklace. All one necklace. There's the clasp. That's a that's a hot look right there. And if you have an enhancer, you can hang an enhancer right here, you know. Since you were 11. Yeah, yeah. She comes from a like a a long line of like collectors and uh like it's maybe some antique dealers. Didn't you say you had a grandma who was an antique dealer? So, so it just goes way back. Also, she knows who she is like ancestrally. She knows like 10 generations back. You know, she's got a lot of history, a lot of antiques in the family. And so she's just been collecting forever and she buys things for her collection and then she moves on and she collects something else. I remember when she was really into Victorian and then like a year later she was like, oh, Victorian is too new for me. I'm into ancient now. We had an antique auction, yeah. I love it like this, too. This is absolutely the way to wear it. This is so sexy because there's space between it. So if you wear like, oh, under a vest, like Pri was saying, like you wear just under a vest or under a blazer just like this with the one button buttoned. Oh, my God. And some cool bootleg jeans <laughs> and like a white cotton vest, right? Yes, Kelly says, okay, Patrick, enjoy. I wasn't even looking at the bids. I've just been looking at the necklace. I'm guilty. All right, Patrick says 125. Okay, I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning number one. <laughs> I know, right? Bootlegs. Maria doesn't wear bootlegs. But I see it with like... Or like a white peasant blouse, you know, in bootlegs. Uh, sorry, Patrick. Patrick's like holding holding their breath. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five sold. Congratulations, Patrick. <laughs> sorry, Patrick. I know that was hard. They were they were literally on the end of the seat, like, Ugh. okay. It feels awesome in the hand too. By the way, look at it. It's a pile. All right, Patrick. Right, 125. Yep, you can't eat jewelry. <laughs> okay, and next up is the briolette, the dark amethyst briolette, okay. This is a beauty too. Totally different look. Also very Maria, if you know Maria. Um, the size of the briolettes is half an inch. Nice size. There's little amethyst beads in between, little round ones. These are probably Brazilian. The total length on this from the lobster claw clasp to the end is, and it's sterling, by the way, sterling findings, is 18 inches. Oops. Come on, don't do this now. There it goes, okay. No, I love this one. It's got to be Brazilian amethyst. If it's not, what could it possibly be? Okay, it's just marked 925. It doesn't have any other mark. Okay. I'm going to put it on the very end so you will see it at its... Maybe I won't put it on the very end. If it's too hard, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to put it on the very end. It's too hard for me with my with my eyes. 
My eyes get worn out in the bright lights. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is up close with just the light going through it. Okay. This is crazy beautiful. Briolettes. Little beads in between. All amethyst. There it is in the hand. I mean, come on now. And they're jemmy. And there it is on the bust. This is very much, I know this is Stella's thing. This is Angela's thing. There's a lot of people that love this, including me, actually. Yeah. I kind of like, actually, you know what? I like it kind of when they jumble, when I think about it. That's better. You're sitting on your hands. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, this is valuable. This is valuable. Yeah. <laughs> Pre's being good. Pre's being so good. And Elme, this is definitely you, but you have yours. Elme, this is like you have yours already. Yeah. Lisa S is at 115. The briolettes are beautiful. The color of the amethyst is special. All right. Yep, Angela says she loves it. Yep, yep, yep. It's beautiful. Isn't it fun just to be here, though? Sometimes when you know you can't, you know, and we all know each other. It's a nice, pl it's a nice place. It's a nice group to be in. Oh, you're waiting on the brooches. Yeah. Stella is at 120. The brooches are going to be next week for sure. And the way that I said was everyone's already commenting and sending texts. So I think it's going to be all of them. I think it's going to be all of them. Lisa says she's out. Hi, James. Hi. The lovely show. You're not lurking. <laughs> anytime. Anytime at all. Hi, Janine. It is fun. I enjoy. This is my most fun time in my life. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to count it down. Who am I counting it down for? Is it Stella? I think it's Stella. Yes. 10, 9, 8. Seven six five. Fair warning. Isn't it wonderful? It's a nice safe place. Oh, Vicky said she's waiting on the, the bracelets. Uh they're coming up. Okay, uh seven six five sold. Congratulations, Stella. It's beautiful. From Maria to Stella. That was a steal, actually. You did good on that one. You did good on this, Stella. Okay. Was it really 120? I think it was. Yeah, cool. Okay. Now we got... Oh, okay. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> nice okay all right so here it is Ralph Lauren right there and it's uh, it's crystal crystal prong set Silver plated. Um, go ahead and Google. See what these did. See, oh, yeah. See what they go for on first dips. Look at that. I don't have to say anything. Yeah. 
Is Christina power bidding? I think Christina has power bid 120, but I'm not sure. Christina will clarify. Oh, that's a good name. All right. Okay, so I don't know. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, starting at 100. And we are at, El May is at 105. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here it is with just a little bit of movement. Look at how it catches. Yep, El May is at 115. Oh, she might be bidding against herself. I think El May... Oh, that was for Stella. Yes, thank you, Christina. Yeah, I figured it out. All right. <laughs> okay, so right now the top it is El May at 105, everybody. Look at the cuts on those. Infinitely wearable and forever. That's the back. That's. <laughs> it's like I don't want to sell it. Like there, there you go. Fancy, beautiful. Beautiful, any length really. Jeans and a white t-shirt, yes. Agree, black turtleneck. It's forever, it's a forever. This is future vintage easily for the next 50 years. Yes. Yes, yes. Ruth is at 130. They have a sort of a barrel cut to them. They're emeralds with barrel tops. So beautiful. <laughs> well, just wait, because things are, things are, okay, that's the other side. Lays in a perfect circle. Um, yeah, just wait. <laughs> it's Maria, you know, it's the, it's the magical Maria, the things, the things. What if, what if you were Romeo in black jeans? The Finns. Yes, the Finn brothers. Um. Oh, you just reminded me. I got to find something. I was in a studio audience. At, uh, what was it called? They did a show on... Um, I think it was with David Byrne. Uh, it was a studio, I think it was called Studio 56. It was like a PBS or NPR something or whatever. Uh, no, no, no. It was associated with um, Fordham University. Anyway, I, I was in this, it was, a t it, was a, it was a series called Studio 56, live, live musicians and things. And um, if that's on YouTube, I have to find it because I was young. <laughs> I was in the audience. Okay, Ruth is out. This is your favorite necklace. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's an easy fave. It's an easy, easy fave. Yeah. I was also in, I was on Wonderama when I was 10. That would be fun to find on YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, yes, no, but there was something called Studio 56. It was uh, 56th Street. It was a play on Studio 54, and it was like live sessions, you know, recorded. Kind of like the living room, but for um, television. <laughs> yeah. 
and I forget the name of the band, but it was definitely, it was Neil Finn and his brother and his little son. <laughs> the <laughs> Elme is at 190, Sue Ann is at 200. Yeah, it was a show. No, I was just in the audience. I was like, I saw that show, but I realized because it was like the kind where it was in a, you know, the audience was in a circle around the performers. So if I can find that, um, I can see me in my 20s. <laughs> and if we can find Wonderama, if we can find the Wonderama with Tony Randall and um, the Bay City Rollers. Okay, I know, getting off topic. Thank you. You're right. All right. Elmay is at 2.30. Well, auctioneer's discretion. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. All right. Oh. Oh, I'm past that. So past that. I'm 56, honey bunny. 56. Elme is at two fifty, but they had that, weren't they? That they had a band. What was the name of the band? Was it the Finn Brothers? Was it just the Finn Brothers? Okay, I thought there was like, I thought they had another name, like a one-word name. My brain, yeah. Angela says forty-eight. I don't know what the forty-eight is. We are at two fifty-five. You are on the Herb Shelton show. Shelton show. How fun is that? Oh, I, I I don't talk to her anymore. I had a friend for a very long time who was on a dance show in Baltimore. <laughs> she was one of the kid dancers. So she got to see the Beatles at the movie theater because they invited all the kids from the dance show. Like... Uh, that's something to be jealous of, right? Oh, my God. Studio A, that sounds really familiar. Yeah, Studio A. Yes, crowded, ha split ends and crowded. Locks me, you're a lifesaver. Because <laughs> my brain, it goes in, but it doesn't come out. Yeah, yeah, I had, I, I, we don't, we're estranged. We don't, you know, I... Oh, yeah. Sometimes you, sometimes people in your life aren't healthy. It doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. It just means it's not a healthy relationship. And so we don't, we don't talk anymore, but we were very good friends for a very long time. So, um, and she was, uh, she was on the, the dance show in, in Baltimore. So she got invited to see the Beatles. When she told me, I was like in awe. I was in awe. Yeah. They have expired. What does that mean, James? That sounds so ominous. Yes. Elme is at 260. James. We love you, James. Stay positive. Hey, you guys ever hear that song by the Hold Steady, Stay Positive? Such a good song. There's a line in that about exactly about what we're talking about. There's a line in that song that says, um, their sing-along songs will be their scriptures, right? And it's about growing up on all of this. <laughs> You'll get back to me. Okay. All right. Sue is out. So it looks like El May is going to get it at 260. Thank you for your bidding, Sue Ann. Thank you very much. Thank you for the bidding, guys. I wasn't ignoring you. It's just letting you do your thing. Um, I'm going to count it down for El May. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. Sold. Congratulations, El May. 260. Yeah, sometimes it happens. 
And, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to hate them. You know, it, it, sometimes people make the mistake when relationships end, they think they have to, you know, demonize the entire person to so that they can feel like they made the right decision. You don't have to do that. You know, you can say, you know, you're not all bad. Not everything was bad, um, but it was just enough so that it wasn't you know good anymore and you know I kiss you goodbye and I wish you well and you know it doesn't mean you expose all their secrets after that it doesn't you know none of that okay um the A.B. Swarovski necklace okay the other Maria we're in Maria land like just just so you know I'm going to show you what's coming up okay so next is Wish them well. Yeah, exactly. Vicky says wish them well. So this is uh, the Maria Swarovski. It's like an AB clear. And interestingly enough, it is not a Swarovski necklace. It is made with Swarovski crystals. Here is the thing made in USA, Austrian crystal USA. All right. looks a lot like an excessive craft. Little hallmark there, but... So that's coming, and then after that, oh, no big deal, just a little bit of uh, perfect, con perfect condition Bohemian garnets with different, different shapes, rose cuts, pinchbeck all the way around. And then, you know, again, not a huge deal, just, <laughs> just carbuncle, Bohemian carbuncle. Also rose cut on pinch back. All right, those are the next three things. That's the magical Maria, all right? The magical Maria. This is the one we're doing now. I started this at 50. This is definitely a Donikins. Donikins. Um, the measurement on this. Carbuncle, okay, so a lot of people, there's different, there's a few different definitions. Carbuncle started out, um, it was known as being kind of like, uh, you know, like a, a fake or a con. You know, there was an expression back in Victorian times like the carbuncle guy, you know. Oh, he sold you carbuncle. And it came from people passing off faux garnets as bohemian garnets. And the word for faux garnets um, was carbuncle. But there is also a gemstone called carbuncle. But faux garnet is carbuncle also, fake bohemian garnet. And, and the funny thing about it is some pieces of fake bohemian garnet are more valuable than some pieces of real bohemian garnet, depending on what they are, how big the stones are, what they're set in, where they came from, if they're Irish or if they're English, you know, things like that. So this is 16 and a half inches. So whatever, 16 and a half inches times two. Great layering piece. All right, just a, just a forever, just a total forever, beautiful gold plating. All right, started it very reasonably at 50. Oh, and you guys are already up. Lisa S. is at 70. All right, nice size crystals on this, a little larger than the usual. A lovely one. Love, love, love. Yep. Yeah, the carbuncles. That's cute. That's very cute. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Long relationships are wonderful. I'm very blessed to have uh, some very long relationships. So Stella says she's out. Was it just Lisa and Stella? I'm getting, I see, this is it. I start to lose. And gay. 
Gay, let us know if you are out or if you are in. Lisa is at 70. <laughs> yes, right. William is Amanda. Yeah, I never know if you guys want me to tell when you use your other names. <laughs> All right. I don't see anything from Gay. She's out. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, uh, 1098 765. Sold. Congratulations, Lisa S. Well done, Lisa S. That is beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Lisa S. Was it 70? I think it was 70. Yes. Thank you, Christina for all your help. Put it on the note as well. Lisa S. Okay. okay, it's time for the thing. This is such a rare beauty and I started it. You know, I mean, I think this is why people come. You know, when things like this happen. Like, when can you see something like this starting at 150? All rose cut. Vicky says 150. Safety chain. Look at the back. Look at that. That's pinch back. Push and clasp. Oh, I think there might be a missing stone right there by the chain. Yeah, doesn't detract. It's so tiny. You can't see it with the naked eye. Only the camera's picking it up, and it's right where the chain is. All right, and it's old. It's really, really old, everybody. Look at look at those garnets. The size is also a three-inch diameter, a perfect three-inch diameter. The width at the widest point is... Um, it's a, it's a little bit over half an inch wide here. So really nice. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> Vicky's writing, it's good, it's really good. And look at the design, the different, um, the different cuts of stone make. You see that it makes a design within the bangle. The little pear shapes make like a center flower. Yeah. No missing stones. No, I I never would have seen it. It's just it's uh, it was magnified by the it does you can't see it in real life. It's right where the the chain lays. See, it's it's literally behind the chain. Right there. All right, and it's old. And look at the inside. Do we have a top bid? Yes, there is nothing missing on the front. All right, Stella is at 165. Yeah, I think it is. It's a uh, pinchbeck is um, pinchbeck. Uh, I forget. It stopped when he died because he didn't share his formula with anybody. All right. Vicky is at one seventy.
Vicki is at 180. Okay, so we are selling it as found. As found, everybody. It's a Victorian. It's wonderful. All right. None of that detracts from it. Let's see if we can get the light through the holes in the back. There you go. I've seen things go for a thousand in a half as good condition. All right. <laughs> Kelly says, Stella. Okay, so it looks like this is going. Oh, Vicki is at 180. Thank you. Vicki is at 180. If I put it on, I'm not going to want to take it off. Oh, yeah. No, this is nice. I, I have mine. I have a pinchback one that was deassessed from a museum. They're a nice click. I don't know if you could hear it. Look at that. Magic. Yeah. All right. Stella said 185 and Vicky said 190. All right. I am not seeing it. If the camera yeah, I do not see it. It looks like no missing stones at all. So. Oh, no, there is one. All right, it's right there. But you can see it in real life. It's, it's right. It's right there on the edge. So for the age, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's painfully beautiful. Piper's mom is at 200. Vicky is out. Yeah, painfully beautiful. I know. I wish Bohemian Garnets still existed like this. They don't. They had, um, I think it's pyrite. They had pyrite in them, made them glow from the inside. Now we have Amandine Garnets, which are beautiful, different. All right. Piper's mom is at 200. Stella is out. I'm going to call this for Piper's mom. 10, 9, 8 going once. I don't want to take it off. I really don't. Look at, lay, look at how it lays on the arm. The oval. I really don't. I really don't want to take it off. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning. <laughs> Fair warning. Sold to Piper's mom. Congratulations. Vicki says, congrats, Piper's mom. Piper's mom. It's beautiful. It's really, it's beautiful. All right. And it's been around a lot longer than all of us. Okay. And the safety chain is still intact. You know, it's nice. Okay. All right. Piper's mom 200. That goes in the bag. And now we are doing the uh, pinchback, uh, the other one. Now, this is a bracelet. And... I started this one at 150 as well. Okay. Age, size. Rose cuts. A little bit of verdigris on the prongs. You can do that yourself. I definitely did not have time. Look at the beautiful rose cuts. Okay, interesting old clasp on this. Collectors might have seen these before. Um, it pushes in like that. The little kind of belt buckle type thing goes in. Oh, can I do it in the light, the bright light? There it is. Okay. Ta-da. And the condition of the pinchback is very good on the back, as you can see. 
here, let me undo it again. It's a delicate little thing. Oh, thank you, Linda. All right, thank you, Linda. Thank you for doing that. Okay. There's the back. Okay, and then there's the front. And there they are. Awesome. Nice size. Love. Love it to pieces. Okay. If you wanted to be creative, you could possibly make a choker with it. Uh, because of the way the, the hook works, you could easily add some velvet to it. Oh, length, yeah. Thank you, Silent Bitter. Okay, length is uh, seven and a quarter inches. And the center, um, the center design here is one inch, one inch in diameter. There you go. Oh, I'm starting to get a mic. I'm starting to get a headache. Oh no, there's still so many more things. Oh, I I I skipped my amethyst earrings somehow. Oh, maybe I didn't put them in. <laughs> it's Freudian. <laughs> I totally didn't put in the amethyst earrings. All right. Stella says 150. Yeah, it's a glowy, glowy thing in there. Yeah. I like the way Bohemian Garnet, well, this is really carbuncle, but I like the way the color looks next to amber. I never realized that before. Isn't that cool? I'm really liking that. I noticed it on the last one. All right, I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8. Get ready, Stella. Stella's going to be first bid winner. Don't skip those. No, I mean, I didn't even put them on the list. It was some kind of Freudian thing. I thought I put them on the list. I put them in the tray, but not on the list. So it was my, my subconscious mind. Yeah, I went from the face earrings to the fan earrings to the square to the... Yep, didn't put them in. Vanessa says 150. Uh, a little bit over seven and a quarter. condition is actually quite wonderful for something this old it's never going to look brand new you know it's old <laughs> yes these are my amber these are my babies these are my babies i got the mommy and the daddy <laughs> carl old friedensburg my my special uh my special thing all right, Stella is at 160. Time out, sort of. Kelly, Kelly, I don't know what you mean. It's okay. We're not doing them tonight anyway. I'll bring them back. If that's what you mean. I don't know what you mean. I'm wearing out. Yeah, we might have to. Uh, I think after this, I'm going to do the last few. After this... One, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After this one, no, after this one, there's only six left. And I will do those before the pins on Friday. Yes, place it on my wrist. Oh, you're so, you sound so academic. <laughs> you remind me of my man. Would you place it on your wrist, please? There it is. It's quite lovely. This is the drape it would have if I could close it in front of the lights. Very Victorian. And still has so much presence. Like you could wear it today with giant rings. All right, Vanessa is at 165 and Stella says she's out. You need to pace yourself. Okay. All right. I'm going to start counting it down for Vanessa. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 
Hi, Katie. Fair warning. Fair warning. And sold. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, getting tired. <laughs> Congratulations, Vanessa. And it was 165. Okay. Vanessa, 165. Okay. So that's it. That's the last one. Let's do the little $10 giveaway. The door prize. We can still do a door prize. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six more pieces before all those pins that you saw in the haul. Um, this is one of them. This is, uh, this is a real prize. Um, it's a locket that opens like this. It does stay closed. I just haven't clicked it closed because of my nails, I want them to be perfect. Um, and I'm not used to my nails yet and I don't use gel. So, but look at it. There's the chain. There's the clasp. So this is magnificent. All right. And I have attributed this to Erwin Pearl. Look at the motif on that. All right. That's one of the six pieces. Um, this. All right. So this will be coming up on Friday. Look at the amethyst in there. That's an art piece. Um, and then, so we'll do these and then we will do the pins. Look at this. The locket. I know. Look at those. Look at those amethysts. Sterling. Okay. Um, Oh, also, I'm bringing this, the one-of-a-kind uh, handmade gold pin, love letter pin, and I'm bringing this, the pistachio pearl, okay, and the ring, And the Irwin Pearl Link necklace that you guys have seen me wearing, which is why I couldn't find it. All right, so we're doing that. Then we're doing all those pins. Um, it was supposed to be viewer's choice, but everyone's saying they want everything, so I'll just do them all. Okay, um, that was super fun. Uh, the people that won, I'm gonna. I'm too tired. I see. I lose my eyesight. I I wish I could send you your buttons right now, but I can't. So I'll get to it tomorrow um, or or Sunday, and I'll get everything out by Monday. And oh, the giveaway! Oh my God! Thank you, Christina. Okay, it's ten bucks, ten bucks, and it's gonna be. Um, uh, let's see, what's it gonna be? I know I should do the giveaway, right? What an idiot I am! <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, no, not caps, all, wait, yeah, no, big brains tonight, okay, there it is, big brains tonight, Exactly as you see it, all caps, no spaces. Oh, I just realized I put it in the chat. If for some reason it picks me, I'll just do it again. Um, but let, let me go get it now. All right. All caps, no spaces. There it is. Okay. So there's 146 people and there's a few people entered. There's 35 people that want to win $10. All right. If you want to win $10. If you've already won something, I can just stick it in your bag. 
<laughs> That's funny, Maria. Yeah. Everybody would be copying and pasting. That's funny. Oh, that would have been fun, though. I could have been, like, fifth letter from the alphabet backwards or something, you know. Yeah. Big brains tonight, James says. James said something really good the other night. I could have used that. I'd see, I have my memory. Just whatever it is. I don't know. Some days, well, no. It's my eyes get worn out and it affects everything. Really. It really does. Okay. I'm going to give you 30 more seconds to get your entries in. All right. 30 seconds to go, brother. And then we're going to pick a winner. Pick a wiener. A big wiener. Getting punchy. And the winner is going to be Nancy Pre, Mishka, Mindy, Linda, Chris, Amy, Linda, Cammie, Jones, Suzanne, Chris, Pamela, Carol, Monica. Woo, Monica. All right. Let me get this down. All right, Monica, you got the tenor. You got the tenor. Congratulations. Mailing it to you. Okay. I had a wonderful night tonight, everyone. Thank you for a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you so much. It's always so lovely. And I will see you on Friday. And last Sunday's video is like the best, best video. Like it's just, it's, you know, it has more it has a lot more views than I have subscribers so that counts as viral when you get a video that gets more views than um, than your subscribers it, it counts as viral so so if you haven't seen last Sunday's video um, please give it a watch and give it a share you know it's uh, people like it it's doing good okay bye I love you love you all bye